So first we'll do the classic sketch ink and fill technique, and then we'll dive into creating a face using markers only. So make sure you watch to the end and comment which technique you like the best so you can be picked to win a free Ohuhu marker set of your own. Okay, first things first, look at all these pretty colors. Uh, let's organize this though. That's more like it. Okay, this is the sketchbook I'm going to use. Okay, so first we'll try out the traditional way, which is usually pencil and then of course ink. And I'm basically just going to use the shapes and the lines method that I use in my book. So I'm gonna start off with an oval. I'm gonna sort of mark the middle. I'm gonna do the eye line. Nose line is halfway between the eye and the chin. And the lip line. And this is when I start putting in the shapes. So do a triangle for the nose. Here's some ovals for the eyes. Ovals for those cheeks. There's oval for the chin. And then I can start using the shapes as a guide to sort of block out face is going to be between the eye line and the nose line this is the ears put little rough shapes there do a circle for the nose we'll do a heart for the lips maybe we'll do a uh ooh, should we do like a sucker line maybe she's enjoying suck Now we can put in the triangles for the inner corner of the eye. We can try to get them to line up as much as possible. Maybe she's looking right at us. This is a tricky part, is trying to get them to match up so she doesn't look <laughs> cross eyed. Do our little tr rectangle, triangle at the end for the eyes. And then where she should be holding. I like to do like zigzags to mark out where the fingers would be. Something like that. I'm thinking, uh, let's do, I think I might do some braids. I'm feeling braids. And maybe we'll do like a little puff. Little hoop earring vibe. Boom. So now we can go in and line it. Okay, now for the coloring. We're gonna start off with water lily. The cool thing about this is there's a brush side and a broad side, so let's see how it goes. So first let's color the whole thing. Now, the fun part is it's layerable. Let's say the light is coming from this direction. Therefore, this side will be our shadow. I'm gonna block in the shadows with the broad side and then maybe get a little more refined with the brush. Lemonade braids. Not really lemonade braids though, but they're braids nonetheless. Beautiful. Brush side of the pink, details and refine. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's all I wanted. This is a little pig. Look at how good that pig. Oh, that pig me though. And then I love like how the brush side, you can go thinner for like the smaller parts, or you can go thicker for the broader parts. Beautiful. I'm gonna follow the shape of the nose. I put in the heart shape again, add some lines. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with how this is turning out. Now we can have some fun and be a little experimental with it. Do a little purple. Draw some hearts for grays. Look how thin I can get these hearts though. This is why a 10 out of 10 would recommend. We'll 
acrylic hues, some brows, do some hatching on the side that's farthest away from the light, like so. But see how it blends though? I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's like layering it up. Now we got like eight different kinds of purple right now. Obsessed. <laughs> obsessed. Okay, boom. Now, these little pops of color. I'm holding my breath for this though. Man. Oh! It's like magic! Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. That was so sad. That was satisfying. Why was that so satisfying? It just automatically turns orange, which is exactly what it was like. Why I am here? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just calm my little my little cell down. Got to calm down. Okay, that I am happy with. That is so cute. Boom, and then we need I can do blue for this one. And the light's coming from this way, so it's darker over here. This is adorable. All right, now I guess what, what are we doing for the eyes? Let's see what the eyes talking about. I am here for this. Okay, now for my last trick. I'm gonna call this the melanin test. Obviously, I'm melanated. So, thankfully, they did their research. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, this is the Fenty version of marker sets. It's like the whole spectrum of melanin is represented here. So that, I do appreciate. Let's actually test it out and see if the melanin is really melanating. Weird oblong shape. Boom. I'm gonna mark the middle. That's our eye line. Halfway between our eye line and our chin, I'll mark the nose line and our mouth line, of course. Gonna be three equal section in the middle with half of that on the side. And then the inner corner of our eye is gonna match the outer corner of our nose. The middle of our eye is gonna match the middle of our mouth. So we can the ovals That's for the eyes, nose, mouth, cheeks, chin. Between the eye line and the nose line for the ears. And the ear shape is a rectangle, triangle, oval, and then a C shape. We're really starting to sort of shape out, just like in my book. I'm gonna do the darkest shadows which are the bottom planes of the face, under the brow bones, I'm giving you sunglasses. Under the nose, zigzag, that nose shape in there. Hearts and triangles for the lips. And then of course, under the bottom lip. And then we'll do the side planes. The side of the forehead, side of the cheek, all the way to the corner of our mouth. Boom. We're gonna go in and do the side planes on the side of the nose. Sides of the lips. Sides of the chin. The light on the cheeks usually creates a triangle shape. So I'm gonna put that triangle in there. So if the light is coming from here, then the darker parts will be over here. So you can a little darker. Now that we have that, I'm gonna start putting in our facial features a little bit more. Using the edge of the broad marker. This is like basically four markers in one, which I love. Curve line, curve line. I could really layer this forever. That's just the honest truth. It's so much fun. I think we may add a little bit of blush. The lips, of course. A little nose tip. Do around the cheeks. That's why I love these markers because you can really layer it in. So like we're building out the face, which I like. I like that a lot. All right, now let me brighten your up a bit. We'll go with leather. And then I am gonna go in with the brush tip. And be extremely careful. Try to do it the same on this side. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. Nerve wracking. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna put in our eyebrow. All right, and our nose. Since we already have that foundation of all those layers, this part is a lot easier. Now we can refine our shapes. So our rectangle, curvy triangle, oval, and let's see. Okay, now we figure out what hair. Let's give him a fade. Can't go wrong with a fade. And a liner. Maybe the lines across. I'm gonna lines on the side. Let's give them braids. So it's gonna be like upside down V. Curvy triangles. Then we're going to do lines from the curvy triangle to the lining. 
and then do hearts for the braids. And now we can curve lines. He looks like his nickname is Red. There's always like a guy in the hood and his nickname is Red. Maybe this is him. He could keep his hair like a little red though. There's so many options. Let's do Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. We'll make it darker in just the areas that are for sure in the dark. It's so hard to stop. Okay. I have to find a stopping spot. So I'm going to stop. I'm stopping myself. But before I do, I do want to add some, some white highlights. Wipe my wrongs, get it? <laughs> oh, who, who is the Fenty of Melanated Marker Brands? For sure. The amount of options you have to depict melanin is way too exciting to put into I could literally be here forever, like, that's the problem. Okay, I'm not mad at you, I'm not mad at you, and I appreciate the inclusive, the inclusive, the inclusivity. Yep, I'm gonna just go with that. But yes, so, if you would like your own set of Ohuhu markers, you can use my code, it's Maxine10, to get 10% off. Or I am doing a giveaway with Ohuhu. You can get a 48 marker set of your own. All you have to do is follow Ohuhu on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, and of course, like, comment, and share this video. And then of course, I also have my own book, which has all the concepts that I used. It's called How to Draw a Face, and it has all the shapes and line breakdowns, I use in all of my drawing, and it even has all the, the facial shape breakdowns, all the hair that we did today, the braids, all that good old stuff. So yep, this is available on Amazon and also Kindle. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.